Okay, moving along here. Now we're going to add some color to this, and this is a fun step. Um, come over to your layers palette. We got everything locked except the eye palette. I'm going to lock down the eye. Make sure you save your file. So do a Control S or a Command S. Save your file. The first thing I'm going to add color to is the the body of the fish. So I'm going to unlock it with the black arrow selection tool. I'm going to select <clears throat> the fish body. Now you want to change the fill color, so the fill color is going to have to be in the foreground. Also, we don't want an outline on this. So come over here and bring the stroke, the black stroke, to the foreground, and there's no stroke on it. So get rid of the stroke, bring the, the fill color to the foreground. That's important. So the fish body is selected, the fill color is in the foreground. Now I can double click on this and I have all the colors available to me on the spectrum and I can you know select anyone I want to but let's not do it that way so hit cancel we're not going to use the color picker I'd like you to use the color swatches just to get used to them so the way we do that is we go to window swatch libraries and there's bunches and bunches of them that you could explore later for this fish just experimenting before, I found like, uh, believe it or not, metal works very well. And that's because I really like this nice bright gold here for the fish. There's other color palettes that we'll use. So let's go to Window, Swatch Libraries, and go to Nature. And there's some nice colors in here. Let's try Beach, has some nice bright colors there and let's get one more I don't know if we'll use it window swatch libraries nature how about flowers now we can like nest these um, we don't have to have all these windows open so I'm gonna grab the beach and I'll just place it right in there I'll grab flowers I'll place it right in there so I got metal beach flowers okay I don't know if I'll use all of them. Okie doke. Uh, the fish is selected. The fill color is in the foreground. I'm going to choose this bright, nice, bright gold. Ta-da! Okay. Go back to the layers palette. We're done with the fish layer, so let's close that. Unlock the rays layer. Make sure everything else is locked. We'll make the rays all one color, these spiny thingies. So just do a Command A. Since everything else is locked, we're good to go. We only have those. Now this, these are strokes, so we're going to change the stroke color only. So over here, make sure that the stroke color is in the foreground. That's a big deal because if you don't, it's not disastrous, but you'll you'll lose all your nice brush strokes. And you have to you know redo them or Command Z or something. So all my rays are selected the stroke is in the foreground let's pick a nice red color these look too bright on beach let's go to flowers there's this like nice dense uh, nice heavy red here let's try that I think it's what I used on my other one yeah that's it so it's the third one down so that's looking really nice uh, now that I look at this with color, I can see I could probably increase the the width of these guys. So what? Why not? Let's just do it right now. You know the drill. B for brush. Increase with the bracket keys, and life is good. Okay. <clears throat> 